preliminary study is out about the use of fracking, highly pressurized water, to extract oil from the ground. Now, that study concludes it does not cause groundwater contamination. That's a key conclusion in a debate that's intensified here in southern Colorado as more and more permits are issued for oil and gas drilling. News 5's Ophelia Young has more on the research and what the locals think about it. Fracking is not a big deal when it comes to your water, according to research performed by the University of Texas. Our job here was to try to separate fact from fiction, to dig into the reports about claims of groundwater contamination in particular, to determine whether they were for real. The 10-month study was observational. They visited three oil shell deposits in the country. We examined those reports and analyzed and came up with our conclusions. And their conclusion? Any fracking fluid found in water is not from fracking. They blame it instead on the installation and operation of wells. Poor casing work around the drill bore well. There was also issues with cementing that failed. And those things could allow uh, fracking fluids to get into the aquifers. An instructor at UCCS says he thinks the operation of drilling and fracking is still a part of fracking. I would say that all those things are, are part of the frac system and they need to be done and they all need to be done correctly. East of Colorado Springs, drilling companies are preparing to break ground for new wells. Concerned residents say they don't agree with the study, saying if they found fracking fluids in their water, it's obviously because of fracking. It is. It's, a, it's all part of it. It's a, it's a, it's, they have to do all of those steps in order to accomplish their goal. Anytime you go into the ground, it's going to have a, a possibility of contaminating water. The University of Texas says the study was funded solely by the school. They say they're just trying to ease public fears. People are afraid of what they don't really understand. Ophelia Young, News 5. And the University of Texas says they're not done with that study yet. Yeah, as Ophelia said, it was only an observational study. The next step is to actually perform some field tests. Well, still 